Tick, tick, ba boom, boom. Tick, 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 ba boom, boom. Foot on the pedal, I move, ba vroom, vroom. Tick, tick, I'm, I'm, tick, I'm a boom, boom. Hello, everyone. Tommy here. So today I have a combined wish haul and a beauty supply store makeup haul because of. Uh, all the things that I got from Wish are beauty related. Now, the things that I did receive from Wish, they were sent to me. And um, it did take two weeks to a month for everything to come to me. Also, nothing was really together. So everything came um, separately when I ordered things from Wish because they come from like different sellers and stuff like that, different stores within the Wish community. So you're not going to get everything at the same time. So keep that in mind if you do order from Wish. And then the things that I got from the beauty supply store, I did get them myself this is just going to be a big makeup video so the things that i ordered from wish i tried to make sure that i got things that were makeup related because i wanted to kind of organize my collection better um one thing that i was really excited about that i'm glad did arrive in one piece and in great condition was this makeup organizer it did come in a box um it's pretty small but i like it it's actually two pieces but i used some double-sided scotch tape yeah, I used some double-sided scotch tape to kind of connect the two pieces. And I put like four pieces of tape under this little part right here because it is detachable. It is a makeup organizer, two drawers. I like this one a lot. Um, you can do lipsticks at the top. You have this big portion. And the next thing that I got was this lipstick organizer. I think it holds 24 lipsticks in here. And it's really good. It kind of has a little level thing going on. It came in perfect condition as well. So I like that one thing that I got were some makeup brush cleaning pads or whatever. Now these are called brush eggs so you just put your fingers in here and you just rub your brushes. I did use these when I first got them and I cleaned all my brushes. They work really well. It actually did cut down the time but I wish it was a bigger space but you really don't need that big of a space but the only thing I did like was that water was kind of getting inside. But yeah it comes with two. Um, I'll leave the price on the screen. I don't really like this one. I think I used the purple one. But you get two. I don't even think you need two. But some with two. So I also got these two little makeup um, sponge things. And they came individually wrapped. And they're like knockoff beauty blenders. But they're super duper. Like they don't get softer like the real technique one that I have when you put water on this it's just super soft and I like that one a lot but these they don't really get that soft so it's kind of like pointless you know what I mean but um I guess these were a dollar or so I'll put the price on the screen I wasn't really feeling these because they don't even like expand I know some people said you have to wash them with really hot water and like soap and stuff which I did try that and that didn't really well so these were a no-go for me and the last thing that I got were a pair of shades from Wish. I really, really like these shades, but I feel like I have a small head, right? And I feel like most of the shades that I've been buying recently, they haven't been holding my head tight enough. Like, I feel like this is so wild right here. That is so wild for my face, but really good quality. So the legs aren't flimsy. They're just like, you can push them in like that and they'll stay like that. So. That's probably how I'm going to be wearing them, like pushed in a little bit. And like they don't fall off or anything. So yeah, I thought these were really cute. They had the gold frame at the top and I was just feeling them. These were like $2 as well. I'll put the price on the screen, not sure. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Wish. All the links to everything that I bought will be down below. Let's go ahead and get into the beauty supply store makeup that I got. I actually took two trips, so I spent about $30, $35. First and foremost, I bought some earrings. So I got this pair, and it came with two others, which this pair actually is turning. I think these were $0.99, cent, but I've really been wanting some hoops. So I got some hoops that comes with, I'm wearing the second to largest size. And I thought these were really cute. Um, they look great with a good outfit, with any outfit really. You're thinking about throwing some braids in or something. They're just really simple to just put on your ears if you want to not do, you don't want to do studs or something. The next thing that I got, which I was really excited about, was this Magic Collection Oval Blending and Contouring Brush. And yeah, it basically looks like an artiste brush and it is so soft. It was $4, which isn't too bad, um, especially, don't these brushes cost like $400 or something to get a set and one brush costs like $50 or something like that? I don't know, maybe $17. I'm lying, all over the place, but I know they're expensive and this one was $4. 
and it's not a super small one it's really dense and it's just so soft y'all like it is so soft and you wouldn't believe it like i wouldn't know what the rare brushes feel like because this brush feels like nothing is rubbing my skin uh, it's literally perfect and they say you can use this for tapping i don't know what you're gonna tap on that but tap or brushing it feels so soft like i don't know <laughs> so i was really excited to get this like i saw this in there and i had to get it so again it is by magic collection and it was four dollars the next thing that i got were some items from ruby kisses so i got this better naked long wear hd color eyeshadow palette i love ruby kisses i use their eyeshadow primer which i bought from which i bought from beauty supply stores basically like the um the Too Faced primer potion yes yeah, like that the design is similar to it and i really like it keeps my uh, my eyeshadows on all day so i got this one and you know it's pretty cute the packaging is decent um it says that it also is infused with moroccan mineral clay and african red tea so kudos for that i've never seen anything any eyeshadows you know that were infused with like anything like that before so when you open it up it does come with a protective sheet on there it has a mirror at the top and then you get the eyeshadows so i like how the colors are uh, they're like words for naked or nude this is bear you got birthday suit stripped start naked exposed and unclad so yeah, the colors are really nice. They're very neutral. I'll go ahead and swatch them on my arm. They're a good neutral palette. So these are them on my arm. I shouldn't swatch them like this. Why did I do this? <laughs> but this was the first row, and this is obviously the second row. They're all pretty pigmented. Like, I can't even lie. They're not bad eyeshadows at all. Also, from Ruby Kisses, I picked up two of their Creamlicious um, Triple Butter Matte Cream um, you know, Matte Lipsticks. And it has Mango Butter, Shea Butter, and Cocoa cocoa butter in here so the first color that i got is in new york new york and i'll swatch that as well the wand is pretty big on it like it could have did a smaller wand but they're super creamy which like they're advertised as creamy and this one is called hot and spicy which is like a really bright in your face red so it's not a bad color at all either i don't really like bright red on myself but i thought let me give it a try I'm a really a dark lip girl or a nude girl. Now these colors, both of them weren't what I expected. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I buy stuff that I know I'm probably not going to wear ever. But I'm probably I'm going to try to wear these at least with lip liners or whatever. I feel like I look so tired, y'all. I don't have any makeup on, so I don't get that much sleep because of my job. Yeah, I work. So yeah, YouTube ain't buying all this stuff. I'm buying it. And... Yeah, so these are the colors we like. They're actually really pretty, but I don't know. I just really don't like bright stuff on myself, for real. And the next two things that I got were... Let me go ahead and start with the lip gloss. So this is a clean color, matte matte lip gloss, which I did use this in the Get Rid of Me video as well. So it's a really nice glass tube. I thought the packaging was on point. And it has a, a doe foot applicator. Pretty nice and small. Creamy as well. I like the formula and I really did like this color like I usually like I said don't go for bright colors but I did like this one and that's what it looks like right there it's so pretty I loved it y'all can see it in the video um I get ready with me I'll link it up there if you want to see that the last thing I bought was this kiss from kiss New York and it was the intense pearl eyeshadow and this is basically kind of like an eyeshadow pigment if you will um, all the powders in here and it has like this like springy top and you just pop it in there and it's really pigmented you can see it's just like super duper pigmented and I use this as well and that get rid of with me so oh yeah so the last thing I bought was actually a little makeup sponge applicator for one of my powders and this was like 149 or something um, yeah so everything there was pretty cheap they had a really nice selection y'all they had all the NYX products now you gotta be careful with NYX and drug in um, beauty supply stores because they can't overcharge you for NYX. Like, don't be dumb. Like, don't be dumb. Like, they will overcharge you for NYX, Kiss, and um, Ruby Kisses. Like, those are really good, like, beauty supply store brands. If you wanna get some really 
good like high quality makeup from there go with those brands but there are some other stuff like you see i bought some clean color stuff and i got this magic collection brush i don't know it was really soft so i got that one so i bought some stuff today and i spent ten dollars almost i got a backup of my la girl pro concealer and fun now I'm not out yet, but um, I felt like I should get a backup. So this is this one, and I got a new one. Now for me, these range from $1.99 to $2.99 at beauty supply stores, but I've only seen them for $2.99. Now some people say they get them for like a dollar. No, they these beauty supply stores are hip. They have everything LA Girl too. Yeah, that's another brand you have to watch out for because they will jack up the prices on LA Girl. So just you know check it out but $2.99 I think that's a good price it's $2 for a good concealer I had this one for almost a year and it's still going strong so yeah I have also other colors for highlighting and contouring and stuff like that so I got a backup of that one it sounds like fun like f-u-n but it's f-a-w-n fun 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 okay I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so then I also got um this hydrating lip oil treatment gloss by Ruby Kiss. So wait, Ruby Kisses is owned by Kiss? I did not know that. Oh my gosh, you learn something every day. So, yeah, I got this hydrating lip oil treatment now. I got this because that liquid lipstick I bought from ColourPop called K, um, the color isn't the color that it dries in the tube. Like, it's much lighter in the tube, dries darker on the lips. So I noticed that when you put something clear on top of it, you get the color of the um, the color in the tube. Now after that point, it's not bad anymore, but you do get the color, and I didn't want that color, especially if I don't want like a dark brown. That was like a more red toned brown, and I really like that color. So I got this lip gloss, and also I wore it before I put it on. I took like a three hour nap, and my lips were so moisturized. And it also has menthol in here, like this. It was one ninety nine. Then I got some lip pencils by Clean Color. Now these are like 99 cents and I got one in hot, in hot cocoa, it's like a brown color, and the other one is in Cabernet, Cabaret. I thought it was the same color as one I had, it's called Cabaret. And I have something similar to it, it's in the color called Cabernet, so, but this one is by Jordana. I absolutely love Jordana lip liners, these are the easy liners, I love these, I have like five of them. The darker colors, they're completely out, like I love these to death. I get these from Walgreens and they're like $2.99 as well, so, they're either $1.99 or $2.99, but I love those. You can go back and get some more before fall starts because I love those colors. But let me go ahead and swatch these two. So let me swatch Cabaret and Hot Cocoa. So this is Cabaret and this is Hot Cocoa. Like This is like a true chocolate color. Really like it. And then I got this shimmery um, lip gloss because... And this is by Santi, Santi Cosmetics. And it's just a shimmer gloss because I felt like shimmery lips are really in. But I like it when it's like subtle, like only in the middle. I've seen Farrah Dukai do that. I saw her do like a, like a shimmery lip, but it was only in the middle, and I thought it looked so good. So I'll just show y'all the color of this. Well, I'm the person, like, I expect what's in the tube. Yeah, so in the tube, it looks so pretty and, like, so pigmented. Like, it's going to be that density, that pigmented when it comes out the jar. But, of course, it came out looking all splotchy and light. Like, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this, y'all. Like, look how together and, like, creamy and smooth it looks in there. But you would have to pack on a thousand layers to get that in. Uh, yeah, so I bought this for just a subtle highlight on my lips. And then the last thing that I bought was a um, a nail buffer. Um, I always buy these from beauty supply stores. And my own. Um, and these nail files, these nail files are the bum. They're usually 99 cents a piece, so that's really good. If you're getting into nail stuff, I would definitely stock up on those there. So I got a new one. This one is so... I can't wait to use it, but I know I'm just going to wait till my old one goes out. But this one is so amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I can't wait to start buffing with it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, that's everything that I had to haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, there will be more videos coming up. And also, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach 15,000 subscribers like I was so pleased because I would I never really thought that I would make it this far I mean I just started my channel a few years ago and I remember 
I made videos for like a whole year before I, re I even reached 100 subscribers. And I think from there my channel kind of took off. But people think that YouTube, everybody's going to blow up in one, like a few months. Like that didn't happen for me. It took me time to even get to the point where I am. And people, they email me, they snap me, and they ask me how do I grow my channel so fast. But it really wasn't fast. Like I've been on YouTube for like three years. My videos have been all over the place. I've been, I used to record in the living room. Um, I recorded in the dining room, then I started recording in my room, and now I have lighting so I can basically record wherever I want now. And sometimes I do film like outfit pieces in the living room, but now I put like a backdrop behind my outfit stuff. So I don't know, I'm still experimenting with my channel. And um, you know, I don't have high quality equipment yet. Um, I'm working with what I got. But I thank you guys for 15,000 subscribers because it's definitely been a long journey. But I just want to thank everyone who watches my videos. Even though, you know, people, when you do get, you hit these numbers of subscribers, you, it's not really reflected in the views, even though this means people subscribe to you. It's like, who's really watching you? Never really know because, like, my views average like a thousand views per video, yet I have 15,000. So it's kind of weird because 15,000 people don't watch me. Um, but I'm grateful for the ones that do watch me. I would still watch. I would still make videos if only 100 people watch me. Yeah, so with that being said, I do want to do something special for you guys. I don't know what kind of giveaway I want to do, but I do want to give back to you all. Down below, please leave me some giveaway um, prize ideas. Nothing too expensive. I can give you guys like some gift cards. Maybe it's $25 for a gift card, like for two people. Or maybe... I don't know, I'll pick out some of my favorite products and then we can work out the shade situation and I send you guys that or I don't know, just let me know what you guys would like to be given for a giveaway if I do decide to do one. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can reach 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That is kind of my goal. Like that would make me so happy um, if I got to that number. So yeah, also one more thing before I go, coming up on my channel. You know, school is getting ready to start back, like it's July, and I have to move back into my dorm May 12th, so if you guys want to see, like, another moving me into my dorm video, then let me know. If you want to see, like, another dorm haul, let me know. Um, dorm shopping, because I do have to get a few more things, and, um, yeah, if you guys want to see any of those videos, then let me know, because school is coming back up, if you want some what to bring to college videos just let me know because I am going into my sophomore year and hopefully next semester I hope to be in my own apartment like I may not live on campus next semester because I do want to get an apartment and everything so yeah I'm working on getting a car this semester so that way before I get um, my apartment I have transportation so yeah um, that's everything thank you all for watching I know this is probably a long video but again, thank you, and I appreciate you guys for watching me and just supporting my channel. And yeah, so I will see you in my next video.